factory talk. So here's our PLC program. You'll see I have a start cycle. I have the green light and all that stuff, but mostly you'll see high count, low count, enable custom and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to link everything up when you first open your factory talk view studio and select new, and then you type in a program name and all that good stuff. The very first thing you need to do so your tags will link up correctly is go down here to factory talk links, double click on communication setup, and you will come to a screen that looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, you'll see there's one called new shortcut here. So I'm just gonna click off of it and save it as that name. I'm gonna click on my PLC, which is the L36. I'm gonna make sure the new shortcut stays highlighted. Then you're going to click apply. Once you do that, It'll do some, ask maybe a prompt or something. You just hit OK, and then you're going to hit Copy from Design to Runtime and hit Yes. And once that's done, you're just going to hit OK. And now our tags should be linked up. So I've already built the program here. So you'll see where it says Start Cycle. So just to verify, I'm going to right-click, hit Connections. I've already assigned it to Start Cycle 1 in my PLC program here. Let me go back to my factory talk. And just so you can see, if I hit refresh all folders, it's gonna come up with new shortcut. So when I expand it, if I click this online folder here, just as a shorter way of showing you, you'll see all of the ones that I currently have online with my PLC that's in an existing program or that was there before. So you'll see the start cycle one, start cycle one, and you'll see my production light, production heavy, uh, high production, enable custom. So low production one, high production one, enable custom one are all down here in my move functions, high production one, low production one, custom number one. So those are there and you can see them just by clicking the online folder you'll see the ones that are in your existing program. And then if you need to see any more, like your counter and all that stuff, right here, you'll see my counter zero.acc, which is here. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly how to be able to view those tags immediately upon the start of a program. They've already been assigned and everything. I just want to show you guys the initial setup process to the communication setup, the, oh, sorry. Mine's already linked, but I'll just pull it back up for you so you can view it again. I have a new shortcut. I have this, and it says here this path is currently assigned, so it's already done and set up. But after you do it and hit apply, you click on that, make sure that's highlighted, hit apply, copy, and then do copy from design to runtime, and then hit OK. Then that's the process. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you soon.